Hey there, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Tats. I'm back with another video. And uh, yeah, I got a couple of nice pickups from Indicator today that I got for a really good bargain. Um, even though they are Blu-ray rather than 4K, but I'll get into that in just a minute. But uh, yeah, I'm actually in a really good mood today. And, you know, I just wanted to talk about some things to physical media related and things like this. And, uh, you know, I was actually able to find a couple of good deals and you know, I just, you know, uh, so real quick, I just want to show you something I picked up, okay? This here, found this pretty cheap, and I love this kind of stuff. I love these kind of documentaries and, you know, stuff like this and shows telling stories about, you know, haunted, you know, haunted houses, haunted hotels, haunted castles, things like this. We have ghosts and witches of old England. So, yeah. For centuries, the telling of ghost stories has been a much-loved English tradition, and it's not only phantom specters that delight a susceptible audience. Witches, both good and evil, have also been included in such terrifying tales for uh, as long as anyone can remember. So, yeah. You know, this here, I love this kind of stuff and everything. So, I found this one pretty cheap, so, yeah, really happy to get my hands on this. And, yes, it is DVD, but, hey, that's what there was, so... And uh, I'm not going to cry about it, but, you know, anyway, so, yeah. Ghosts and Witches of Old England, I love this stuff. I can't get enough of it. And uh, I came across this, and I think that this is kind of fun to do. I don't know if, you know, for those who have been following my channel for a long time, one thing I've been doing, yeah, I've been jumping on collector's editions as soon as I can get them. Um, you know, I pre-order a lot of stuff. I pre-order 4Ks. I do 4K reviews, things like this and everything. And I don't mind doing it. I'm going to keep doing it, uh, when and where I feel, you know, I want to, but here's the thing, you know, and I've had people ask me about this. When I first started the channel, the idea was going to be, it was, you know, it was called Terror and Tats for a reason. You know, it's like, yes, it was going to be about my love of horror movies and horror novels and music and, you know, horror music, things like this. You know, it was going to be to showcase my love for all that. But one thing that has definitely been ignored is my love of tattoos and, you know, just, you know, um, and the art form of body art and, you know, tattoos and things like this. And that is something that uh, just, you know, trying to chase these collector's editions and everything else and trying to, you know, always trying to get on the new thing and trying to get, it's getting, you know, that's the thing, you know, it's like it, it's ended up, my channels ended up going towards one thing and I've ended up ignoring completely the other. And like Tuesday, I can't guarantee I'm going to get a tattoo on Tuesday, but Tuesday I want to, I've been talking to my, uh, my friend Enrique, who, you know, is my tattoo artist. He's done the majority of all my tattoos and everything. And uh, I told him, it's like, you know, I want to come in Tuesday. I want to talk to him. And I really do, you know, because I miss it. I have a couple of ideas for tattoos I'd like to get. And that's something I would kind of like to get back to again is get to the tat, tats portion of the Terran Tats uh, channel. And I'm really looking forward to it. And just, you know, and and it's I feel like now is a good time to do it because especially with a lot of, um, you know, just a lot of the stuff that's coming right now is kind of like, eh, you know, I mean, there's some stuff, you know, like 4Ks, you know, like, okay, um, here, you know, I got stuff coming, you know, like I want to go down Tuesday. I want to get the Crow on 4K. Uh, I have other things that I want to get, but... That's another thing, though, too, is like, you know, getting into the whole, like, uh, you know, getting into the whole thing about ta um, 4Ks and everything being expensive. One thing I'm kind of starting to notice is if I just kind of step back and wait a little bit, there are so many people that are just getting rid of stuff. And, you know, like, oh, man, I went into my local record store, Zia, the other day, and they got all kinds of stuff that, you know, that's on sale, stuff I could get for infinitely cheaper. They got Criterions that are really cheap, um, you know, and, uh, and that's the thing, you know, these were Blu-rays, but I got these pretty damn cheap as well and everything else. And it's just like, you know, after a while, it's like, you know, like jumping on the collector's edition, you know, all this kind of, it's like, you know, dude, sometimes if you just kind of wait, a lot of people will just get rid of this stuff. It's like right now, you know, um, I'm not kidding, Vinegar Syndrome, I mean, if you're lucky to have record stores and media stores in your area... I mean, I understand, that, you know, if it's like, well, I don't have that option. So I have to kind of jump on this stuff. I get that. I do understand. I get where you come from. 
Um, but it's like, you know, I'm starting to realize, like, you know, I could be getting, I'd be upgrading so much more stuff from Blu-ray to 4K and from DVD to Blu-ray and stuff like this and everything else if I'm not sitting here trying to pay these ridiculous prices for a lot of these collector's editions and stuff like that that's coming in. And a lot of this stuff, you know, people are buying this stuff not because they want it, not because they're going to watch it. They're just buying it just to have it. And then next thing you know, like you have somebody out there who's like, I'm going to buy, you know, oh, they just put up the July slate for uh, Vinegar Syndrome and I'm going to buy every single edition. But what ends up happening is, and I've seen it time and time again, is like they're buying this stuff and, you know, they're, they get it, they bring it home, they watch it, and then they realize, what the hell did I spend all this money for on this movie and everything else? And it's like, you know, dude, you need to kind of stop trying to chase that dragon of, you know, like, oh, I got to get all the, the nice limited editions and everything else. Because when you get that and then you don't want it, you turn around and sell it off. And guess what? I can end up getting it at my local record store and I can pay a fraction of the price for it. And that's kind of a little bit where I'm starting to lean towards and everything. And just, you know, I mean, now, granted, that being said, I did just shell out uh, 40 bucks to pre-order um, Romero's Bruiser on 4K, which is coming out July, I believe. Now, I mean, granted, I still do that and everything else, but I'm starting to kind of look at it. It's like, you know, a lot of it is, is like patience does pay off. And it's like, you know, I could be... You know, going out and getting a lot of this stuff, I can be really boosting my 4K collection and my Blu-ray collection if, you know, a lot of it just wait and kind of save a little bit of money. And that's what I did today. And so that's kind of segueing into the stuff that I got here. Um, so anyway, so yeah, talking about this, one thing I think is kind of cool. Okay, we're talking about collector's editions. Now, one thing that is really, really hard and, uh, you know, I feel bad for a lot of people because you know there are a lot of people out there, they would love to get their hands on stuff like this. You know, they would love to have these, you know, beautiful collector's editions. But here's the problem. Like, not everybody's got that option. Not everybody can afford that. And I understand that. Um, and one thing I like is when you can sit here and kind of take your standard editions and basically turn them into collector's editions for pennies on the dollar. Or if you got people out there that are creative enough, they can actually sit there and they can create their own you know, standard limited editions and stuff like this. And it's like, well, it's not like everybody else's. That's the beauty of it. It's yours. You make it unique. You make it to your library and stuff like that. You know, the idea is like try to, if you have that option, you know, and there are people out there, they can, you know, they have the, like my friend Glenn from BDG Reviews and my friend James, they know how to make their own custom slip covers. And they've been doing it, you know. They can make, they can sit there and tailor their own movie library. They can sit there and take, a standard Blu-ray or DVD or whatever, and they can make their own slip covers and everything else, and they can make their you know movie library completely unique and completely their own, not anything you've ever seen, and that would be the beauty of it. They could be creative and do all kinds of great things with it. So you know, and that's the thing. There are options, you know. So you don't. That's kind of the beauty of it is when you don't necessarily have to go after you know the big, um, you know the big you know, uh, collector's editions and stuff like that, you know, you can kind of just make your own. And I've done that. You've seen me do that. Hell, I've, you know, modified, you know, steel books in the past. I've modified, you know, uh, cases and stuff. I've done that before. So, hey, you know, and this is a good example. The other day, I found this for only a couple of bucks. I'm not even kidding. Three bucks, right? So what I found was, I found, okay, they had the copy of Pearl, right? And... Here's the thing. I know, okay. Now, the, the uh, case was inside, but it's like, here's the thing. It's like, you know, the, the uh, artwork matched, you know, the slipcover and everything else. But I sat there and thought to myself, you know, this is only a couple of bucks, but I do already have Pearl. But what I have is I have this version, right? So, you know, so different artwork and stuff like that. You know, it's like, it's like, I know some people, you know, they got those 4K media books. and it, Yeah, you mean the ones that are constantly out of stock and super expensive? And the ones you have to constantly be on, like, Diabolic and other websites and everything else, just hoping at some point that, you know, so, you know one of them will pop up and be affordable? Yeah, you mean those? Yeah, not everybody's got that option. But I like, you know, I thought, you know, here's what I'll do. It's only three bucks. I'll get this, and then what I'll do is I'll take the, the version with the uh, same artwork, and I'll just sell that off. And then what I'll do is I'll take this one that has this artwork on it and everything, and then there you go. Take it in there, 
And there you go. Do like what a boutique company would do. You know, make it like a boutique company release, you know. What a boutique company is a lot of times, what do they do? They offer you different artwork. You know, the slip cover and, you know, the inside artwork are different. So, there you go. And just for a couple of bucks, I was able to, you know, do this. And I'm actually really, really happy with the way that turned out. You know, like I said. And then I can sit here, I can case it. Watch. Now that I want to do it, it's not going to work. But, hang on. Uh, come on. Okay, there we go. It went in. Thank God. You know, so, there you go. There you go. And for pennies on the dollar, there you go. I turned around and took this and made it, you know, took a standard release and basically made it like, what if this was, you know, how would a boutique company do this? They would give you, you know, a slip cover and then you get the inside with different artwork, you know. So, okay. So, yeah, it's Blu-ray and everything else. But, you know, I mean, it's fun when you could do things like that. When you can be creative with your library, you can be creative with your collection. And you can kind of do things, you know, to make it stand out a little bit more, you know, and everything else so I have fun when I can do stuff like that and that's and you know and sometimes it's more fun and more creative to do that than just keep shelling out you know huge prices trying to always get those collector's editions so but anyway so now I got these two in for from uh, indicator we have both the nude vampire and the Demi demoniacs okay now I know these got 4k releases but here's the thing Right now, you know, I'm sure the uh, price will probably go down to like $29.99 eventually. But, you know, to get those $29.99 plus tax, you're looking about like $33 bucks each. So, you know, best case scenario, you get them for maybe like $65, $66 for both of them. These here, I, was, I know that they're Blu-ray, but I was actually able to get both of these for $50. Bucks. Okay, both of them. I was actually able to get these for a steal. You know, 50 bucks for both of these. And these are limited editions uh, for, which one is this one? Demoniacs, I got number 3950 out of 4,000. And for uh, Nude Vampire, I got uh, 3477 out of 4,000. So, whoop, hang on. Uh, sorry, throwing stuff around. But here's for the Nude Vampire. And here's for Demoniacs. And still, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, they're Blu-ray, and they're not 4K, but you know what? You still get the beautiful artwork, same as what you would get with the 4K. I mean, I know the main thing is the disc and everything else, but the 4K features are the same, or the Blu-ray features are the same, and look at all that stuff that you get with it, and everything else, and you, know, you still get the booklets. i got to be really careful, because, because, yeah, you know, like some of these... Now, they like to spring those, uh, yeah, they like to spring those girly pics on you. Jean Roland and everything. And, you know, it's like, I know these are not 4K, but, you know, another thing is, too, is like, and this, well, I didn't show that very well. But like, another thing is, too, though, is like, this is really getting to the point, it's annoying the hell out of me, to be honest with you. And it's like, there you go. And then the inside artwork. And make sure this isn't showing anything. Nah, nothing explicit. And I'm really, really getting to the point. Like, you know, I was really keen on getting these, you know, in 4K and stuff. But I'm really getting the irritated. It's like they're raising the price on this. And they're always doing this song and dance of like, you know, oh, you got to make it take longer and everything else. And it's like, I'm so sick of every time I pre-order these Oh, they're supposed to be here on the day. They never show up on the day. They always wind up being back ordered and all this other kind of stuff and everything else. But it's like the Blu-rays, that's the thing. The 4Ks, you gotta wait longer and all this, and they cost more and all this. And it's like the Blu-rays, you can usually get them release day. No problem. I've never really had a problem getting the Blu-rays on release day, but the 4Ks always gotta be a pain in the butt and they cost more. And honestly, I'm just getting sick of that. And so you got Demoniacs. You know, again, lots of bonus features and stuff. And here you go. Again, I got to try to be really careful with what I show. John Wallon. And just, you know, well, I can't show that. 
hang on. Let's see where I go. Okay, something like that. You know, and just I am just so damn tired of this. And you know, just for slightly sharper picture quality, I know there's HDR and stuff like that, and and everything else. And but it's just like, man, I am just. I'm sorry. I'm at the end of my rope with this kind of thing. You know, and you know, ugh, it's kind of creepy looking, and. But I am. I'm at the end of my rope with this kind of thing. I am getting so sick of this limited edition crap. And you gotta wait longer, you gotta pay a lot more money, and everything else. And just, you know, and like I said, you know, just. And I feel like other areas are passing me by, and then some of these instances, it feels like, you know, if you just wait a little bit, some of the stuff you can get cheaper, and everything else. But, like, ugh! You know? And these here, I got these, you know, 50 bucks for both, no problem everything else you know and honestly it's like both of these i did have both of these the uh the redemption blu-rays i had both of those and both of these even though they are just blu-ray but they are for k remasters both of these i'm happy with because they look infinitely better than the transfers on the redemption blu-ray so i have no problems upgraded these bad boys and you know what I mean, I know it would have looked a little bit better with the 4K and with the HDR and stuff like that, but I'm just like, uh, and that's the thing, you know, it's like if I was more committed to these movies, I could probably see myself, you know, sticking it out and paying the extra money and waiting the extra time and everything else, but it's just like, I'm getting so sick of this. And that's, an, that's the thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing to keep getting burned out. That's not what collecting is about. That's not what it should be about. And after a while, and like I said, you know, it's like, you know, you feel like, you know, as I, I know this doesn't mean crap to anybody, but it does to me. And I feel like, you know, good deals are passing you by and fun other movies and things like that that you want to get. This stuff is passing you by because, you know, you're sitting here having to put all your eggs into this basket. And it's just like, ugh. so, you know, just, yeah, there are times I'm just kind of like, you know what, screw it. I'll take the cheaper option. And like I said, you know, it's like now it's starting to, man, it's like, yo, patience, it, you know, just wait. Patience will pay off and everything else. And, uh, I mean, I still plan on trying to get 4Ks in as soon as I can get them and, and everything else. But I'm sitting here like, man, the other day, you know, it's like, you know, I'm sitting there. I go into my record store. They got like 4Ks now for 10 bucks, you know, in good titles, too. You know, there are a couple of them I'm thinking I need to go back and pick them up, you know. I just remembered they have like a uh, Hellboy 2, the Golden Army on 4K. I got, that's the one Hellboy movie I don't have on 4K. I got the first one. I got the David Harbour reboot. I don't have Hellboy 2. I got it on Blu-ray, but I don't have it on 4K. That's one I could go get on 4K for 10 bucks and I can upgrade that bad boy. And that's what I'm saying, you know, just kind of like, I'm just really getting tired of the whole, like, you know, you got to, you know, and I've, doing it to an extent but i am kind of really getting tired of the whole like you know just keep you know trying to pay all this extra money for these collector's editions where it's like you know if you just wait you start to get a lot of them a lot cheaper because a lot of times people will get this stuff and then they watch it and then they realize man this movie sucks or you know i spent all the you know i only got it because it's vinegar syndrome or i only got it because it's you know arrow or screen factory or you know, indicator or something like that. You know, that was the thing. I probably could have waited on these. I probably could have got, you know, the 4Ks for about the same price, you know, but whatever. It is what it is. But I just am, though, you know, just like, and that's the thing, you know, and, and I need to kind of take a step back from that because the whole, you know, it's like, that's the thing. I don't want to resent format or a 4K. I love 4K. I love the format and everything else, but it's like just all these tricks that they keep doing with it are making me not want to buy it, are making me say, you know, I could just go for the, you know what, screw this, I'm tired of playing their games, I could just go for the Blu-ray and I'll be fine and all this kind of stuff. I don't, I don't really want to do that. I want to get 4Ks when and where I can get them, but, but just, yeah, so, so I think I need to kind of, I think you can kind of tell, I need to kind of like, uh, redirect my course a little bit and just kind of maybe take a little bit of time and figure out what I'm going to do here. But, uh, so anyway, but no, I still love 4k and I don't want to give up on it. I really don't, you know, but at the same time though, too, it's like, you know, just, you feel like thing, you know, you feel like good, you know, movies and things like that. You feel like things are passing you by and everything else. And that's not the way to feel. So, 
So I'm sorry, this isn't really like a review. It's more like a rant more than anything else. And, uh, but anyway, yeah, that's just it. You know, and like I said, you know, it's like, I want to go get more tattoos, you know, and stuff like that. You know, I love tattoos and I got a couple of ideas for ones I want to do here and everything else, you know, and that's just, ah. so just kind of like, yeah, you know, I feel like other things that I have interest in are suffering because of this one thing. And, and that's, it. I don't want to resent buying movies. I don't want to resent buying physical media. I want to keep doing it. I enjoy doing it, you know, and, you know. And I think, too, you know, that's kind of thing. You know, for me, it's like when you can kind of spruce up your additions and stuff like that, that makes it even more fun, you know, it's, and it's a way to keep collecting and stuff. So so that's just it. So sorry, I know this is more of a long-winded rant more than anything else, but I really am happy, you know. And like I said, you know, yeah, these may be Blu-ray, but you know what? They're still 4K remasters, and they look gorgeous. They are, these are such a huge, huge improvement over the Redemption Blu-rays. And I'm glad I got these. And all the bonus features you get with them and everything else. Hell yeah, I'm still glad. And, you know, for 50 bucks as opposed to 75, maybe even 80 bucks. Yeah, I'll take it. And then this stuff too. So anyway, so so that's it. So uh, thank you for anybody that took the time to watch this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, would you please leave it a like? And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I do have, I do plan on getting 4Ks. And so, like I said, I really, really want to get, go down Tuesday and I want to get um, uh, The Crow on 4K. I really want that movie on 4K day one. I do have other stuff that I want to get. I want to get Once Upon a Time in the West. I have other stuff I want to get to. So, uh, but anyway, so that's it, everybody. Take care. Have a good night and I'll see you all later.